Hello and welcome everyone. This is Asan Ashfaq and today I'm going to tell you about seven tips for computer science students which will surely make your life a lot easier. So, a quick go through. Let's start. First is that remember that being a computer science student, you cannot know everything and not try to learn everything remember that computer science is a very diverse field and there are different sub branches and different dimensions in the computer science you cannot be an expert of everything you cannot be a programmer and at the same time a database developer or you cannot be a graphic designer as well as a system analyst and as well as a software engineer this is not possible try not to learn everything because remember that it's a very diverse field try to identify what you are good at and then try to work according to your uh, field of interest and try to remain within your scope try to become an expert of what you are interested in don't try to learn everything you cannot know everything and if someone asks you about something which you don't know that's no problem at all as you are an expert of your field not everything let's move forward secondly learn programming languages remember that if you are uh, if you are a computer science student and you want to be good at it you have to learn some programming language maybe at the beginners level or the, at the intermediate level not necessarily at the expert level but you will have to learn how to code there are different programming languages available there are desktop application programming languages web programming languages one way or the other you will have to learn how to code at least in one programming language that's actually at the these programming languages are the core of computer science so learn to code let's move forward okay decide where do you want to go as soon as possible remember that if you are a computer science student there are two possible uh, future possible pathways you can uh, remain at the academia if you choose academia as your career and future you will become a teacher or a researcher or choose industry and if you choose industry as your future you will have to become a software developer and you will have to learn programming languages so decide it as soon as possible because both of these different paths and they have different expectation and they require different type of efforts so if you are a BS student and before half of the work or half of your uh, undergrad studies are completed you must decide what's your future and what makes you more interest because remember if you are uh, if you choose academia as your future you will have to be very good in understanding of the theoretical backgrounds of the thing because you will become a teacher and you will have to do research uh, if you are an industry person you may escape a little bit background knowledge and theoretical knowledge but you will have to be very good at programming languages so decide it as soon as possible okay so the next thing GPA is not everything or is it well it again depends upon which path you choose as I, which I mentioned in the last slide if you w choose academia as your future 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 career then GPA does matter a lot because if you want to be a teacher and if you want to remain at the academia your GPA does matter and if your GPA is low you will not be considered for uh, good jobs and remember if you want to go to the practical side and you want to join industry as a software engineer or a programmer then GPA does not matter that much because there are some companies which will not consider your GPA at all and they will consider your skills and how much you are skillful in your area and a moderate GPA will be good for industry but for academia you need a high GPA so again as I mentioned that you have to decide at an earlier phase that which actually which path suits you the more let's move forward okay so a tip for the classroom note down key points in the classroom that is very important when you are attending a lecture try to note down the important points in your notebook and then when you prepare for your exam try to consider and learn from these point of view it will uh, give you a better understanding of the concepts because it is a psychologically proven fact and when you write something in your own handwriting your mind reads accepts and understands as well as compared to reading the books or any other material from your computer laptop or any other thing so make it a habit of noting down the key points in the classroom in your notebook and then in your exam and in your revision study from those points you will definitely see a massive improvement okay 
another very important thing for computer science students remain updated with latest technology keep yourself updated through internet through facebook through magazines or through online any other any other way which makes you updated with your latest technology in your field that is very important for you you must be aware what are the latest technological development in your area in your field we all know that it's all about computer science and information technology and new software and new devices are being uh, developed day by day so you should remain updated with the latest technology and take the full benefit out of it or at least you must know how these technological inventions are benefiting or useful for human beings so that is very very important okay and the last thing learn software tools that is very important because if you want to be in academia you will have to do research and for research you will have to do simulations and all these things and on the other hand if you want to be a programmer you will definitely have to use different tools for doing programming so try to learn software tools during your undergrad studies don't only rely on the theoretical knowledge you will have to learn tools to actually know how to implement the things which you have learned in programming and all these things tools like matlab and tools like uh, visual studio these are very very important and you will have to learn these tools in order to have uh, in order to be able to implement your skills to get the useful results well thank you very much for watching this video i hope it was useful wait for more videos and if you have any question or discussion you can write me down i'll try my best to answer them and please do not forget to subscribe my youtube channel